It's just me. <laughs> got you, got you. Welcome back to Amazingly Average, a show with advice for amazingly average authors and actors. My name is Saka Jawia, and I gave Lewis and Clark blue balls all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Just kidding, my name's John. Eh, got you, got you. Today's tip is for the amazingly average actors out there. MWFW, maybe weep for wealth? Why am I so poor? Because you didn't save 10 to 15% by switching your car insurance to Geico. I'm not being sponsored by Geico. It's actually like upwards of $100 in there. It actually stands for Memorize word for word. If you have to think about what your next line is, then your acting can't be at its best. I'm notoriously bad at memorizing. I forget both my lines and all my customers' orders. Sometimes it took until opening night to get all the lines right. I'm not a slacker. I read the script like it was my Bible. Some people just have a harder time memorizing things. I was cast as the murderous Jonathan Brewster in Arsenic and Old Lace, and I had the worst time memorizing my lines. The actor who played Dr. Einstein, who's Jonathan's right-hand man, had a really difficult time picking up my slack. That actor, though, had a really smart way on how to memorize lines. He would record him himself saying the other character's lines and then just leave an empty space in the recording about long enough for to say his lines. He would then listen to the sound files on his iPod and practice saying his lines in those gaps. It's a perfect way for knowing other people's lines as well as your own. There's the complete isolation method practiced by myself. This worked for my first two plays that I did. I basically just locked myself in my room and read the entire script out loud. It worked for the most part, but that's probably just because the plays were really short. My friends Lauren and Sean gave me the privilege of playing the stage manager in our town. This character is basically the narrator. One third of the script is the stage manager's lines. He would just have really, really, really long monologues. Listening to my own voice reading these monologues out loud on my iPod wasn't working for me, so I would go over to Lauren's house and she would help me learn my lines. She decided to draw me a cheat sheet. She would draw a picture of different parts of each monologue and where the monologue was supposed to go. If I was talking about a graveyard, there'd be a gravestone. If there was a baby, then she would draw a baby. It was like a picture roadmap. Opening night comes along and occasionally I have that blank look in my face of, oh my god, please don't go blank. Blank. And I managed to say all the lines. The only time that I almost messed up, I finished a monologue at the wrong place. I sat down in my seat and then the sound manager hits a cue for a thunderstorm. He asked me to get up and say, oh, but it's raining. Everybody in the audience was laughing, but thankfully they were laughing with me. I also had the privilege of being the lead in a musical. The way that I learned the music was by looping the soundtrack to the musical in my iPod, only that soundtrack. I also plunked out some of the notes on a piano and recorded them with the app GarageBand. And I would listen to them on my iPod too in case I had any trouble with any specific melody. Memorizing can be really tough, but if you put in the work, the payoff is going to be huge. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howie Newsom with the milk. Uh, but first, it's been raining. <laughs> Boring and thundering. Oy vey. Leave your questions about acting or writing in the comments below or on my Facebook or Twitter. If you like this video, then don't give your castmates and your directors a migraine. Just memorize your lines. If you didn't, then enjoy the amnesia. Amazingly average. If you're a voice actor, then you don't have to worry about memorizing your lines. You lucky son of a bitch.